Hello. Come in. This is our first guest room makeover room tour thing. We're gonna close the door because out there is not done and there's a big blue strip of plastic between the, the spaces. This is our guest room number one, the very first episode of our home reno series. If you wanna see how we made over the space, you can watch the entire process link up here. But in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through this entire space, a little bit of our thought process, where we got all of the stuff. Yeah. We wanted this space to feel super bright and airy and almost like a modern hotel room. This is our first guest room down here. It's quite a large space. Uh, usually it's two people in this room with two check bags and two carry-ons, which means a lot of luggage. So uh, we wanted to keep the space over here nice and open for coming in and out of the space with luggage. When we came into the space, there was carpet on the floors, the walls were cream, the trim was wood, and it was just feeling a little bit dated. So we painted out the doors, trim, walls, and ceiling in all of the same decorators white, Regal Select matte finish. We like to use the same paint finish on the ceiling, the walls, and the doors, just for a cohesive look. We swapped out all of the door hardware for our matte black, including the leapers on the door, the little hinges on the doors, as well as the knobs on the closet. When it came to this room, the bench footing along the side of the wall here, um, there's nothing we could do about it. It's concrete underneath there. If you wanna know more about that, you can watch the video link up here. So we're kind of working with this little jut out here, which made furnishing the space pretty challenging. So we put a bench here so we could kind of sit, look out into the garden. And then over here, we added a TV on the wall and this can actually move out. Moving into this space, we have this big bookshelf slash desk area. It was important for us that we had a space where our guests could kind of sit here and do a little bit of work if they wanted to. And then also have like shelf space so we could add some lighting and some books. We opted for this piece that has the walnut shelves, which you'll see walnut throughout. That's the main wood that we chose for the space. And white metal supports, which also pick up on the light fixtures next to the bed. This was challenging because of the bench footing. We had to actually build out these spacers so that this could fit you know, with this bench footing here. We have ourselves a hammock, which is very fun. Originally in the space, we were gonna put a chair here, but because luggage was coming in and out of here, a lot of it, and we have the closet doors here, we didn't wanna have a big chair here taking up space, and then a chair here, and then a bench here. So we thought a hammock would be kind of a fun addition to the space. Always been kind of looking for an excuse to use a hammock in a room, and this was just the perfect opportunity. And we have this oak bar. This actually matches the floor pretty perfectly, and this was a DIY project. One of the challenges uh, that came along with this room, as I mentioned, was the bench footing and the um, inability to put dressers in the space. So when it came to making over the closet, it was really important for us to not just have hanging space, but also have shelves and drawers here. We went for an Ikea closet, which there were some interesting, you know, sagas that went along with the installation of this closet but this was the best looking one that we could find for an affordable price. We like to include a little laundry basket in our guest room so people can load up their dirty clothes, bring it upstairs and wash it. I've included some linen robes in our guest room. We've got a little basket with a yoga mat down here in case anybody wants to do some stretching. Over here we basically have the exact same setup and we actually added these handles to the Ikea uh, dressers. They didn't come like this. These knobs are from Schoolhouse Electric and the knobs inside the closet are from Home Depot. So they're just a slightly different size but they're very similar style. On the windows, it's important to be able to have privacy here. So we have these little cellular shades in the windows that kind of just still add a lot of natural light but give our guests some privacy. We're gonna move over into the most important part of the room, which is the bed. So we don't like carpet, but we do like rugs. So we've added a rug on the floor here just to kind of anchor the bed. This rug is a five by seven wool braided rug from EQ3, it's called the Tiller Rug. And we've actually had this since our Vancouver apartment and we've just kind of reused it within the different spaces that we've been living in. And it worked perfectly in the color scheme of this room. The bed is a queen size bed and the bed frame is from EQ3. And it's upholstered in this kind of gray wooly fabric, dark charcoal gray wool fabric. And then it's got the walnut legs on the bottom. So you're gonna see walnut throughout the space here on the end tables, the bench, the chair, and the shelves. So we're kind of keeping that wood consistent. So we've got the bed layered up here with a bunch of different bedding. This room was inspired by a hotel, but because it is our space, I felt like we could go a little more fun with the sheet. So we did a base of this like light gray and white pinstripe um, sheet set. And then we have the larger striped pillows here and they kind of work together just two different sizes. All of these pillows can be slept on and they're all different. We've got a nice lumbar pillow here. 
The front is just this kind of gray upholstery and then the back actually has the same fabric as the bed, which is that kind of gray wool. We do have a nice white duvet cover here as well as a waffle blanket and a wool blanket layered on top of that. Since we had a lot of storage in the closet, we actually just went for open end tables here. Nobody lives in this room specifically, so we didn't feel like it was important to have storage kind of drawers in the end table. So you got these nice, big, substantial end tables. These tables are actually from Target. We got two matching ones. And this bed is very symmetrical. It's almost more of a traditional layout where you have it basically the same on both sides. We have the same wall lamps, the same tables that are just styled differently. The lamps here are from Ikea and they've got Philips Hue lights inside. We've got a couple of plants here in the room. We've got this ZZ plant here, super easy care. Above the bed here, I've got one of my pictures from Oregon when Chris almost died. No, I didn't. I think I'm caught in a riptide. Drifted way off course. That was in control of the situation at all time. Lots of plugs around the space here, but most importantly, we've got two extension cords on either side of the bed, which both have on both sides, two three prong plugs, as well as two USB outlets on both sides. There's nothing that drives me more insane than going to stay somewhere and there's nowhere to plug your phone in next to your bed. So that was crucial for us. And this is a nice little, we're gonna shut that light off cause it looks like shit. Great little closet for, you know, when guests move out of their suitcases, they can stick their suitcases in here or, you know, hang whatever. It's just some extra storage here. That is our guest room number one. Yes, the first guest room in this house is our first makeover in this house as well. If you wanna see how we made over this space from start to finish, basically entire demo, tear it out, and then you know the two years it took us to make over the space, you can check out episode two of our home renovation series. Link up here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. I think you've linked up there five times. Too many times? If you can't find it up here, you can find it in the description box. Everything from this room is linked on our blog, beckingchris.com slash blog. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you on the next one. <laughs> we can turn around, put your feet up here. Walls are in Regal Select matte finish so they could all be wiped off if they get marked up. No big deal. Wouldn't it be funny if this fell right out of the ceiling right now with me in it? <laughs> you could sit here while somebody else empties your suitcase into the closet. You could sit here and harass whoever's sitting at the chair. Look, I like to do the, the egg moment too, like this. And then you're just like in a little egg. Don't spin me, you know I get dizzy. Arms, legs, side. Oh, supports. Supports to hold the, um, what is that called? Remote. Remote. 